Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn some confusing vocabulary, so let's get started. Today we're learning this word, treacherous. It's an adjective. Pronunciation, treacherous. The TR in the beginning sounds like the ch ch sound in chicken. Ch ch, chur, chur. Like in tree and try. TR makes the ch sound. So, treacherous. The first vowel is the short e, eh, like in bed and ten, tre, treach, treacher, s. O U S is pronounced like s. What's confusing about this adjective, about this word, is if you look in a dictionary, it has two definitions. The first definition is an adjective describing a person, a person you can't trust. A person you can't trust is treacherous, but this is the old definition. We don't use the word like this anymore in American English. We use this word treacherous to describe dangerous conditions. Potentially dangerous conditions are treacherous. Example, there's a Taylor Swift song called Treacherous. And in the song she says, the slope is treacherous. Example, this is a slope and it's potentially dangerous. You're talking about dangerous conditions. So she says treacherous. The slope is treacherous. Be careful. Let's practice. Is the slope treacherous? That's right. The slope is treacherous. Or I can describe ocean currents. They're treacherous. They're dangerous. You can drown in the treacherous current. So be careful. Or don't go swimming. Let's practice. Can you drown in the treacherous current? That's right. You can drown in the treacherous current. Or I can describe the trail. The trail up the mountain is very dangerous. It looks dangerous. You're talking about dangerous conditions. So the trail up the mountain is treacherous. Let's practice. Is the trail up the mountain treacherous? That's right. The trail up the mountain is treacherous. Be careful. Or don't go up the mountain. So remember, this word is treacherous. And we don't use it to describe people anymore. You might see it in an old book describing a person you cannot trust. But the way we use it now is to describe unsafe, potentially dangerous conditions. So my advice today is don't learn English from dictionaries. Learn English from real life situations, real life context, TV, movies, and how you see people use it in real life. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.